TTA Championship 2024 men's final match. Paul Call of uh, New Zealand to serve Ali Farag of Egypt to receive best of five games. Level. Well, it's game on in this men's final. Are you going for Vanessa? What's your prediction for this one? Uh, Paul Cole. You are? Yeah, I am. I just think the um, what you were talking about with Lisa in terms of the fasting, I just I can't imagine that that's not going to play a role at all unless, unless Farag's able to put it together yes, and take it Level. three, love. I know there's an element of him being used to it. But if you uh, imagine, you know, any of the non-Muslim players, it would be unimaginable to head into a big final, you know, with 12 plus hours of not and eating or drinking. Love. And if this match, which many of their meetings have done previously, starts to head into that 70, 80, even sometimes 90 minute ter territory, love. surely that has got to start to play, play a part. Well, they're just um, discussing what decisions they want to give. <laughs> <laughs> it's always played in a very, very good manner between these two. They really complement each other. It doesn't always happen with the top-ranked players when they come yes, against, against each other. Farag's going to chop and change. I, I just know that, going back to what we were saying with the, the scenario for him at the moment, you just see the way he's just edging up towards the tee, does not want to go in and, and have a 25 minute, 30 minute first game, Vanessa. Exactly, I just think the tactics um, we need to be on the lookout for, certainly in this first game, with, with what I just said in mind, that he's possibly going to want to avoid going into one of those marathons. That he might start tackling the front just a little bit earlier than we would normally expect from him. I think we know what we can expect from Paul Cole. We've seen it all week. He's going to be hitting really good straight lines, very accurately into the back, using the straight drop, which has just been glued to the side wall on both sides. And he'll want the opposite. He'll be more than happy for this to uh, head way over the hour mark. We're over the minute mark for this third rally, the first game. Paul Cole want to send this into a couple of minutes, if possible. And out, one, two. Vanessa, you were world number one. I mean, who really stood out for you in terms of rivalry? Um, uh, the Grinhams, certainly. Had a lot of matches, particularly with Rachel. Um, well, unfair having to play two against one. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they were quite small. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Nicole and David was, three, was very one. much breathing down our neck at that point and threatening. And then once she sort of took over, it wasn't much of a rivalry, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's inch perfect. That is accuracy at its best from Cole. So, About moving two, in. Three. It's looking very smooth.
Ja. Four, three. to call. No, no, the line was under you, the other way. A couple of winners from Cole in that front left, left. Five, and three. Farag just not quite as quick onto that ball or out of the that position as well as we would normally expect from him. Well, he's tidying up, Paul Cole, he's had a bit of a, a run through in this last phase on the scoreboard. Right box, 6-3. Three. Well, that's not coming back against anyone, but three winners in that front left. Oh, no review from Farag. Right box, 6 three. Ball on the side is good, yeah. Yeah, the ball on the side is good. I thought you were asking about that Yeah, his side ball there, no, so... Like ball. ball indicated to me it was good, yeah. All good. Yeah, 6-3. Yeah. I didn't understand a word Roy Gingell <laughs> said then. I don't know if you did, <laughs> no. Vanessa. No Farag, actually. Yes, let six three. There was enough. No, I, I saw him going underneath you. There was enough interference. Six three. Well, after those long extended rallies Seven, in the early three. part of this game, Cole running away with this slightly. Rally duration is significantly shortened as well. Oh! Went for the cross court, Nick. This has sparked up a little bit more from Farag. Oh. That was a bit special. He was so upright, Farag. This is all just racket work and skill, this shot. Look how upright it was. Four, seven. That's the one through the, the shorts, but this is the finish. Hardly bent at all. <laughs> Managing to get so much string through the ball still.
It's let four One. seven. Safety. Right. Back to a slightly longer exchange between these two. Three points down at four seven, Farag. It's one minute twenty five, the last rally, Vanessa. Yeah, right back up there. It's good acceleration onto the ball from Cole. was playing a bit of tennis initially. Paul Cole diving, but unable to recover from this corner. Was Very bit... clever from Farag, wasn't it, to volley that shot? Brilliant. Cole had to go through a little bit of interference. He knew he wasn't going to get the let, hence the dive. But unable to recover onto that quick volley from well, Farag. The crowd that were being slightly hypnotised with a few of those longer rallies have really sparked up now. Tremendous stuff. Thank He'll you. be quite thankful with a bit of a, a stoppage here just to get rid of the sweat where Cole dived in that back left-hand corner. Left box, Out, thank you. Well, good squeeze. Very honest from Cole, putting Six, his hand up to seven. signal. He's coming back again. 7-3 was the lead for Cole. What what becomes so, um, so fascinating about this first game as it develops, as we're starting to go into the latter stage of it, it's got to be a race for Farah. He's, he's got to take this. If he loses this game when we go up into the later teens, that is going to cause Seven huge, all. a huge amount of physical damage for him. He's got to take this first game. He does, yeah. And there's going to be no way of doing that quickly. We are going to be looking at, you know, 15 plus minute, at least first game. Let's let 7-0. Still only 5.30, so we're looking at you know another yes. good 40, 45 minutes before Farag would be able to even have a drink. <laughs> Unimaginable, isn't it? Oh, honestly, I'm the wrong person to ask about <laughs> eating and drinking. That's true. Some lovely bit of recovery work from Farag. Oh, that's a great lob. Well, this could be trouble for Cole. Oh, he read it. Crowd are going to go nuts after this one, Vanessa.
Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He deserves that rally. What a rally. That was also over 1 Red minute box. 20. Eight, seven. Well, especially in these long extended rallies, even more crucial for Farag to take them. Ooh. Oh, he got a bit fluky. He slightly miscued that one, Ali Farag, but he'll take it all day long. 9-7. Cole went into the same corner. That was unbelievable. He nearly cut the ball in two. One of those ones where I think he nearly hit his foot. <laughs> Done that before. Yeah, it's nicely played. Really nicely played. We always talk about the counter drop on the backhand side for Paul Cole, but... A lot of work um, has been done eight, on that nine. right hand wall for him. Well, another classic between these two so far. Stayed in. Oh, he stopped spinned it again. Oh, my word. This is a joke. Oh, yes! That's <laughs> outrageous from Ali Farag. <laughs> that's a wicked rally. Check this out. Two game balls for the number one seed. Well, Paul Let Cole hits the tin. And Ali Farag has got a very, very important first game under his belt. 19 minutes. So it's an 18 minute first game. Just shy of the 20 minute mark. A great game, though. And it's Ali Farag that strikes first. He leads one game to love. Farag taking the first call. Well, crucial first game, perhaps, was 90 minutes in duration, and he really needed that. I think he won eight, all of the last eight points, possibly one going Paul Cole's way, and then a very uncharacteristic error right at the end of the game as well. There was a slightly higher risk element to what Farag was doing when he was getting the opportunity, possibly slightly more severe rather than working the shot in. He was wanting to hit the winner, he managed to keep the ball out of the tin. Very subtle, the difference in tactics. Down. 11 8, give the far out. Far out leads, one game to love. Right, one game to love. You won't be thanking the person that puts those, put those bottles of water I on know. the table. I know, I mean, it, it, he's going to, he's just cleaning his mouth there out of camera, which is understandable. I mean, uh, keep repeating it but I just he said he always says well you know we're used to it but I don't think you can ever be used to that scenario in an elite performance is different to training training back in Egypt adhering to Ramadan but actually competing at the highest level here is he really is something else Ali Farag 15 seconds Well, in the Clash of the Titans here in London, Ali Farag takes the first game. Farag leads one game to love. Love all. Oh, 
I wouldn't say Paul Cole did a huge amount wrong in that first game, Vanessa. No, I agree. And I don't think he'll panic. As you said, it was 19 minutes in duration. That's what he will be looking for. All balls good. All balls good. Hand out, one love. Important that he doesn't panic at all. Out one all. Again, just that little bit extra on those shots into the front. Oh, that's a great lob. What a lob. <laughs> I mean, that is just exemplary from Ali Farag. Beautiful lob, change of defence into attack, and then the pace change, drive winner over Paul Cole, and this, bang. That hold, the deception that he's used, and he's been able to find those winners is crucial to break Paul Cole's patterns of movement. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> oh, my word. I mean, that's going to go down as shot, as, definitely shot of the month. Could put my teeth back in again. You'd be happy with that boast any day of the week, wouldn't you? Oh. <laughs> Four, one. Evidently frustrated. Well, it's going against the grain, isn't it, for Paul Cole? He does not want to give away quick points like that. He wants Farag to have to work extremely hard for every point that he gets on the board, and he hasn't been able to do that so far in this game. It's not so much the 4-1 deficit, it's just the manner with which it's happened. It's a lovely shot from Cole. He needed that. He needed that after that outburst to win the next rally. And out two four. The problem for Cole might also be that if he's come into this with that game plan of I want it to be long, I want to extend rallies, that he's then also maybe not going to take his own opportunities. Yeah, that's a very good point, Vanessa. Well, there isn't a seat left. VIP area completely full. All right, just it's actually moving better now, isn't he, than he was at the beginning of the match, Ali Farag. Oh. Oh. You're right, Joey. 
<laughs> he, is, he is moving better than he was, certainly that first half of the first game. He's at full elasticity right now. <laughs> he is elastic man. <laughs> Another unforced Seven error two. from Cole. He's just running away. Paul Cole is all over the place. He looked like he was in the zone. You made a very good point. Again, Vanessa, going back to it, that the game plan to extend to increase the physicality. And it's Ali Farag's chopped and changed and adapted as he always does. And Cole maybe just, you're not, not, sorry, Joey, just maybe not expecting this from Farag. You almost have to run every scenario through your mind before a match and, and be ready for, for what, what could happen. Always expect the unexpected. Certainly when it comes to Ali Farag, another error. And a sort of despondent look. Right box, please. Which Nine is a rare two. thing from Cole to see him in this, this kind of mental tangle. Higher error count in this game than we sometimes see in a whole match from Paul Colt. Early in rallies, and not you know not not through pressure, not through accumulated pressure. Farag serves from the left. He's got eight game balls to go to love up. The error comes again, Paul Cole. Hugely frustrated out there. He's gone really flatline ever since that kind of outburst of emotion and anger. The early stage of the second game. So it's Ali Farag, the world champion. That We're just shy of the 30 minute mark and Ali Farag in this final is just doing what he does. He's now leading two games to love. So 11-8 in the first, 11-2 in the second. Means this next game well as commentators we have to expect the unexpected as well and this was not sort of on our script this is not how we thought it would go a long extended first game and I really thought that there'd be a big response from Paul Cole even though he lost that game I thought he'd be happy with how this is going and we'll see more of the same in the second, but the error count was so high, he's all at sea. Well, Rob Owen on that couch with Paul Cole. Trying to get some energy into him. I mean, he really did go very, very flat. And he's at sea, he's got to do a huge mental regroup here, Paul Cole. Yeah, I mean, almost you have to forget about the tactics and it becomes a mental battle. It's got to be about, you know, just finding someone, digging in, finding some resilience, which we take for granted with Paul, but, you know, he's, he's human.
15 seconds. The world number one and number one seed, Ali Farag, in Farag a truly commanding left. position in this Level. men's final. Kicks off this third game. Substantial two love lead. All eyes now on the Kiwi. See how he responds. Well, he's the party pooper, isn't he? Again, one all. nullifying Colt. Crowd evidently wanting this to progress for obvious reasons. And Ali Farag, inch perfect in the back corner. OK. No let. Player review Farag on the no let decision. Well, you can't say there was an interference, can you? Let's wait for the review. Let's wait for the review. You can't say there was an interference, and you're also looking at... So he's gone the wrong way, which is... Initially, he's gone the wrong way. I don't know if he just misjudged his movement there. This could be upheld, you know? Yeah, it's not a it's not a great no, shot, but... decision upheld. Farag has one review remaining. That first movement went off to the right. Hand out. 2-1. No. Well, nice to see Nelly Gillis just signing. Yeah, you should have looked to hit the Somebody's ball. Somebody's well. balls there. You needed to hit the ball. Hand out, 2 1. Dedicated to the course. <laughs> He's done it again. Every time Paul Cole tries to make a foothold, Ali Farag rips it out. It's a poor service, though, from Cole. Miss. Did not miss one of those uh, in that match yesterday against Mustafa Rasal. I haven't seen an unforced error count like this from Paul Cole. I mean, I, I can't remember one all season, really. It's the one thing we, we sort of we can't really predict as commentators. We look look at all the statistics and look at the head to heads, but you know, there's lots going on with every player, their sort of mental state. And he's really struggling. Maybe put a lot of pressure on himself perhaps with the opportunity, with the fact that, that Farag he's got a good record against Farag, that he's uh, fasting as well. And as I said, maybe wasn't expecting this from Farag, who just continually seems to shift the goalposts to what we can expect from him. Yeah, it's, it's quite brilliant from him. The ad adaptation that Farag is producing throughout this 2023-24 season to deal with Paul Cole. What, what I'd like to see, though, from the Kiwi... Oh, he's, well, he's just literally... He's just... Um, Stroke the call. He's asking for a let, but I think he nearly went up Ali Farag's nose, that. Just luckily, just popped it. Watch this. This is uh, quite close to his left nostril. That was right on the ear, wasn't it? Cheek. A cheek. And out, three all. 
Pop, Mr. Collins elected to play a lead. I mean, that's very good. Wow, that is... Isn't it good when you're two love down? I love that. You know, you see some players do that when they're two love up and match ball up. <laughs> Well, good. also, he knows that that's the kind of thing that we've come to expect from Ali Farag. Huge amount of respect for each other, these two. So what I was saying with Paul Cole, this is a... I mean, again, it's... He's responding again, Ali Farag, he's responding, but... Just a bit more energy about Paul Cole. He's gone very lethargic in his own right. Energy about his movement. His swing slowed down slightly, I feel. Four, Paul Cole, he was generating a lot more racket head speed when he was winning those those titles and troubling Farag. And he, he's just kind of, he's gone into a, into his shell, actually. Yeah, he looks very unsettled. The game plan has always been so solid that, you know, he never really wavers from it. And, and that makes him, gives him that incredible consistency. But... You know, I think players are constantly trying to work at their game and change things, and you know sometimes that can mean that you you, you possibly go go back a step before you're able to move forward again. Don't really want to be doing that mid-season, but I mean that is, you know, Ali Farag was way away. He just needed to really get that on the front wall. That's a disaster for Paul Colt. Oh, you've got the radio mics there. Good to see some. Uh, of the audience listening to the commentary, Vanessa. <laughs> Hopefully enjoying it. Hopefully we won't see any thrown into the lake outside when, uh, when this is finished. What do you think, Vanessa? What, what are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, initially, obviously, three, feeling that Paul Cole would get a result here. He's still got an opportunity to, but what, what do you feel at the moment, mid-stage of the third? I mean, if he was up against anybody else, but Ali Farag, he's, he's got the little two-point lead here. Not that he's going to see the finish line early, but I just don't think he's going to give anything away. I think he's going to do it. I hope I'm wrong, because we were hoping for a big five-setter, but I can't see it at the minute. Yes, left three, five. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's standard there. He didn't create that. That was a bit of both. moment Roy Gingell not being troubled don't want to jinx it Three, five. well that's been another feature of their matches you know, going above 90 minutes but very light and low on the decisions oh. well that's been a bit of a theme as I say when Paul Cole tries to build some momentum Ali Farag comes out with a winner in whether it's at the back of the court, the front of the court, it's a and it's all varied. It's varied and it's very early in the rallies. And now, four, six. Seven four now. And now seven four. Well, the PSA World Tour nicely settled here in the UK for the bunch of sorry month of March. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's let seven fall. Player review, Farag, on the yes Well, Farag's is reviewing. Game. So the original decision on this one being a let ball. And Farag feels that there's plenty of room to play. And actually, where Paul Cole's shaping up, this will. The ball's a bit further away. I think this will be upheld personally, but I can understand why Farag's having a shout here. Absolutely. See where the ball is. Paul Cole should be stepping forward. I think the fact that he's just, as he's the racket prep, that he's just on his shoulder there might give him the let. Yes, let Certainly decision worth a review. Farag has no reviews remaining. Right box, 7-4. So, as Ali Farag serves in this third game, he has zero reviews. The next time he can get a review back is if it goes into a fifth. Well, there's a bit of acceleration, both players. Oh, he wasn't far off, and I tell you, I tell you what, that was fortunate for Cole. I don't think Cole had read that one. And now, very, very fortunate, seven. and he hasn't made many errors at all, Farag. And Cole's been struggling to read those little angles that he's been using. Norlet. Yeah, we. I was. Watch, I was watching the movement. And out eight five. Yes, let eight five. Yeah, no, that's just traffic, general traffic. Eight five. <laughs> general traffic. Talking about the M25 being closed. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, he's hit the tin. Oh, he's He's hit the tin. Ali Farag was in a commanding position. Absolutely walloped it in the tin. I know he did. What a position for him here. Oh. Would you like this court service on, guys? We're OK? Hand out 6-8. seen a rally like that for quite some time. There's Danny Lee, the tournament promoter, enjoying that. Thankfully, he's not singing later. Now biting finale to this third game. It is some really tough movements in there for Farag. Cole just trying to spur himself on, back within one point. I do not believe it. Just Paul Cole. Wrong. Hand out. That Nine area of the court seven. for him is bread and butter for Cole. And it was 
in a way even too easy. Too close to the ball. Oh. Just looked wrong. Oh my word. Feel, feel for it. Nail biting for us even, Joey. Imagine what she's feeling like. <laughs> I don't know how he squeezed that up. No idea. Oh, he's good. No let. Great decision. Yeah, no let. He's got no reviews. It was naughty of Ali Farag. It cost him. He could have played this. He was looking for the stroke. Oh, that was... Eight, nine. Wasn't the best of shots from Colt. Eight, nine. Oh! Suddenly, look at the energy of Paul Cole. Just look out. Strutting to the service box. Yeah, dropping energy, perhaps, from Farag. Oh, you can't write it. Right at the last part of this third game. Oh! Oh! He's not found the front wall at all. He's not found the front wall. There's some Kiwis in the crowd. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> Game ball for Paul Cole. He's done it. Has he got it? Oh, well. It was like a forward defensive. Oh my goodness. And did he need it? No, he is starting to look very, very fatigued in these last oh. rallies. Oh my goodness me. The time is now on my clock, four minutes past six. Ali Farag is able to break the fast at 6 13. 13 1 3. It's now 10 all. Oh, you can't write this. I mean, how, <laughs> I, uh, how are you feeling? Do you feel ridiculously nervous and edgy? <laughs> sweaty, very sweaty. <laughs> Loving it, though. Hand out 10 all. A player must win by two points. I don't know how he's dug that out. No, he didn't get it on. He didn't get it on. That's a big forehand. Paul Cole strutting now again. He's strutting, wanting to serve and crack on. A second game ball opportunity for the Kiwi. Massive pressure. Yeah, it's yes, got to be a let ball. Got to be. Yeah, a bit overexcited there. <laughs> Paul Cole was nearly outside. <laughs> it's the right decision. Ten game ball. It's the right decision. Unbelievable lob. He's turned that round very well, Cole. To the last 
last minute. Crowd on their, on their feet. Fifty-one minutes in this men's final. Paul Cole manages to sneak the third. Farag leads by two games to one. Well, that was beyond huge. Ali Farag had the lead, 7-4 at one stage. Paul Cole started the game still making those unforced errors, but once he got a sense that there was a slight energy drop from Farag, I don't think he made a single error, possibly one on the backhand drop, tightened up, up the pace, and Farag was just hanging on for dear life right at the end there. And he's gonna have to wait another whole game before he's able to eat or drink. So just during the break, a reminder that you can get your 40% well, It's a nightmare. Paul Cole taking on as much fluid and energy gels. And Ali Farag is asking for the time. He was asking for the time. Um, he changes his T-shirt there, Ali Farag. I mean, it is an absolute nightmare for him. It's already, he's got his energy drink and his food i mean it's just it's just torturous isn't it it's torturous for him well it's going to be interesting to see whether he's able to push in this game or whether he's going to maybe hold off for the fifth let's give the players a boost then ladies and gentlemen a temporary Paul Cole, after that rapturous finish to the third game, hasn't asked for a new ball either, so he's still with the same ball. He does have a habit at times wanting to get the new ball, bouncier, faster ball, sticking with what they have currently. Poor old Ali Farag looking for the time, and now we're about four minutes away, but he's going to have to deal with his fourth game. What does he do, Vanessa, on a serious note? Does he put in massively again in this fourth? Because he's only going to have, if he loses his fourth, he's only got two minutes to have some drink. He can't lug a hole. I mean, but that must be all he can think about is just getting that, that first drink in. I think he'll, I think he'll go for stuff. I don't think he'll completely let it go. But I can't imagine that he's going to be willing to put in another 15, 20-minute game. Yes, let level. Equally, Cole doesn't want to get too carried away thinking about, you know, is, is he fasting? Is he drinking? Is he tired? There was definitely a massive, massive drop off right at the end of that game. Well, if you think about the uh, racket sport that's just over the road at the All England Club, they're able to sit down and nearly have a full time <laughs> meal in between. <laughs> You know, quite a lot through a set, don't they? See them eating bananas and all sorts of lovely fruits. Strawberries and cream. <laughs> it's not like Farag can go up to the towel box and have have a drink or so, a nibble on something. Yes, lad. Safety. Safety. I mean, talk about hungry, Joey. You know all about that. You've been a right mess. Oh, I, I just wouldn't even. I'd just be like, um, I'd just go up in a puff of smoke. <laughs> Let, love all. 
Yeah. Well, that was a big push and acceleration there from Farag. Rewarded with the error. One love. Wow. That was out. That was a nice exchange down that right hand wall previously. Video referee decision or oh. appeal. He's uh, Roy Gingell's got the ball out of the scrum and he's thrown it straight in the face of Phil Reed. Well, let's have a look at this. I don't think it was intentional, but it definitely holds the position. Back legs right in the line. So the let ball's gone in. So all the movement is just a normal. Yes, let. Thank you. Well, that's nicely put away. Interesting, as you said, Joey, that he didn't request the new ball, but I think he sensed that Farag was struggling to, in those movements right into the corner. So he's obviously backing himself to take the ball in well. Yep. Yes, let one all. Yeah, the duration is going on and on. We're now, it's official that uh, when Ali Farag can come off, he will be drinking. But it, over the time to break the fast. Done that a few times, hasn't he, on the backhand? It's almost the half volley, he takes it so early. And out. Angled into the neck. Yeah, I mean, he plays it very upright, gets it perfect. Conventional ways to bend into the shot, but... Yes, let. 2-1. Yeah, and there's a little bit of distance to the ball. That's why it's a let. on cue, the straight drops are going in. Drawing Farag right into those front corners. Well, the match is now starting to really crack on with the duration. We're up to the hour mark, 60 minutes of play as Ali Farag takes that rally. Court service, please. Yeah, there was a bit of a sweat patch from Cole's knee hitting Sorry? the floor there. Sorry? No, no, you can't. No, sorry. He's asked if he can get, uh, get he was he just asked if he get a sip. I mean, I don't blame him for asking. 
You know, I've, I've, I've got a, this is something that's I'm going to throw out there with the towel box to go for a wipe. What, what, why would they not be allowed to have a water bottle there anyway? I think just because it would take even longer. I know, I know, but it. Three, two. I wonder what would happen if you did take us, you know, if some. Sorry, throwing it out there. Yeah, there's an argument for it, especially when the court services are on, because it doesn't take any time away from the uh, from play. Well, he's just he's wrapped it round again. He's played a few of these kind of top spin tennis s forehands, primarily straight. This one he's wrapped round, taking Cole by surprise. I wonder if Paul Cole registered what he said about wanting a sit. That's got inside Paul Cole's head. Yeah, it would set a it would set a bit of a precedent, I think. Yes, let. Well, a very Jurassic noise there from Ali Farag, but you can understand why. Four two. You want to check? The... No, I'm holding my hand up half an hour. Okay. <laughs> Play review. So Cole. Paul Cole wanting to on check a pickup from Ali Farag. I thought Ali Farag was in that shot. I thought he was right on top of Paul Cole. He's lucky to get a let ball. Paul Cole. This is the pickup. Oh, he got it. He got that. He got that, Vanessa. Are we mutually agreeable? Yeah, we are, absolutely. Pickup's good. Cole has one review remaining. Well, the early mid-stage now of the fourth game. You won't get a let ball for that, Cole. There won't be a let ball. Player review. He looked off court there. Oh, yeah, he did. He, he stumbled. He, he didn't quite read this one. He stumbled his movement. I think there's a line between Ali Farag and the, the side wall. I don't know if this will be overturned. There's plenty of room for him to play, and it's a good shot, isn't it? It is. I think if it had, if it had hit sort of floor, side wall, and stage there, it would definitely be a no let. It does come out. Checked whether it was worth reviewing. His team obviously thought it was. Right box five two. Somehow Ali Farag is starting to build another lead. Both players don't have reviews unless this goes into a fifth where they'll have one each. You just needed to move. Farag just got stuck. Looks like he was just glued to the floor three, there. Five. Yeah. It's probably so dry. I mean, honestly. How good is that first drink going to be? Not enough water in the building to quench that thirst. Oh, honestly, <laughs> Vanessa, you're making me thirsty. <laughs> could smile a bit, couldn't they? is going to be crucial. We saw that in the previous game. The drop in energy from Farag. Four, five. Cole was able to run right through. He was four points. He was even further behind in that game. Well, that was much needed. That was much needed for Farag's campaign.
Oh, that's an outrageous get. Farag just waving his arms around. Stop, stop that. Yeah, just right of the T there, you can see you it. the court service on, gentlemen, okay? He's just said, how did you get that? That ridiculous. <laughs> how did you get that? I mean, the sense of humour is very, very good from Ali Farag. This was the get. I mean, that was a, a pretty powerful get, to say the least. <laughs> sense of humour. He must be slightly irritated, though. He didn't get that. He didn't get that. Oh, he's trying to... He's trying Seven, to work. Four. He's trying to work on Roy Jagiel here, Paul Cole. He's gone to. No, no reviews. You have no reviews remaining. So what Paul Cole's got no reviews. It's a no let. Play on. Oh, you're Left joking. Seven four. No reviews remaining. Please play on. Seven four. Well, that's no discussion. No discussion. Otherwise, it'd be court of conduct. That's a conduct warning, Mr. But going, Cole, going back to what we were comments. saying, that's, you know, that's... Seven Paul four. Cole has always been very reserved in the past with his use of reviews, and that has come back to bite him, not having a review. Yeah. Well, that has sparked him up. Five, seven. Well, he's having a real good look at Roy Gingell. And that's the problem. You have that celebration, that massive thing, and then you get flatlined. Yeah. The arousal levels are up and down. Unbelievable awareness there from Farag. Done that very successfully throughout this match. Those quick points in. It was a real... Um, reminded me of Jan Khan, that return of serve from Ali Farag, the great Pakistani player in the latter part of his career. Clever way of taking quick points. Video referee decision. You need to have a good look at this. No, this is important because of the outburst from Paul Cole and what happened with Roy Gingell. This is good refereeing from Roy Gingell because a lot of referees would react back and, and go in favour of the person at times that was a bit aggressive towards them. So let's have a look. Do you think there's room to play? No. You don't think there's room to play, really? No. Where the ball is? I don't think he can properly swing at that. I think that's got to be a let. Just look at how close it's No, I, I, I don't mean a no let. I'm just, yeah, I'm agreeing with, I think this is a let ball, not a stroke. Right, got you, yeah. He's shaping up on Ali Farag, and it's a stroke, so what do I know? It is a stroke. But you were in, you were in agreement, weren't you? I thought, it, I thought it was between a let and a stroke. Oh, you're that just way. really leaving me out to dry a bit. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, this is becoming a bit like the, the third game. Yeah. It's becoming like the third game. Paul Cole can't serve quick enough. Seven, Ali Farag eight. will take his allotted time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Eight all. And the eight whole all. body language just starts to drop again from Farag. Nine, eight. Quickly, please, quickly. Surprised he's got any sweat left in him, Ali Farag. Shot to play. It was the right shot to play for Paul Carwell. Well, whatever we're gonna, whatever's gonna happen here, it is gonna be a nail-biting finale to this fourth game. Nine all. Stroke to follow. Well, the penalty point, the stroke being given to Ali Farag. 
As he wipes his hand, he is definitely having a bit of a problem with the sweat on his hand. Serves. The championship ball. 10-9, championship ball. He's got it. Oh, my word. He's, how's he got that cross court? solid in that front left-hand corner and he's taking away and one championship all, ball we have our second tie break of the match that was such clever play from Cole taking him into those front corners such a drop-off in the movement Oh, I was loose. Wow. I was very loose. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're going to have a court wipe. I mean, this is... Nelly Gillis is going through the ringer, but... Oh, that was quite fortunate for Paul Cole. He was all over the back of Cole. He's played the shot. He's not cleared. He's right in on the back there. Really lucky to get away with that, Paul Cole. 10 all. 20 minutes as we go back to 10 all in this fourth. Oh, it's Ali Farag's turn 11, 10, to clip ball. the top of the team. Paul Cole serving with game ball. Couldn't serve fast enough there. type of fluid and energy it's not going to be much he's only got two minutes so this one will go we've to had 74 minutes for another terrific battle champion. between the world number one and the world number, number two four. it's now two and games all the 20 minutes first and again taking it in the tie break 12-10, as he did in the third as well. Well, there's the water. The water going in. I, be, I want to see if he takes that, the other drink, which has obviously got the electrolytes and the, the energy, but it's not going to solve everything. There's the, it's like he's just got a juice down there, actually, so there's no energy, just water is going in. A reminder that after the I think he might final, have a carbohydrate gel or something that's easily digestible. He's in a tangle here, it's awful. I think he's just enjoying that first drink. We'll turn the court around within a couple of minutes so that you can see the trophies being presented to our winners and runners-up. Well, unbelievable scenes here in Wimbledon. Virtually identical the last two games with Farag. Able to build a lead. But then the energy drop right at the end. Paul Cole doing really well to take advantage of that. Dragging him into those front corners. The movement starts to go. It's almost quite painful to watch. Farag dragging himself around the court. Yeah. Still only water going in. Farag. You don't want to overload the system either, no, do you? No, you can't. That's what I mean. You can't. The stomach shrunk because of the fasting. You can't chuck in a load of water. He's only having. He's had half a bottle. Both of the past champions, of course. One of them looking to be a two-time champion here at the Octavia Championships. Let's hear it. Well, in the clash of the titans, the world number one, Ali Farag, taking on. His main rival at the moment, the world number two, Paul Cole. Cole has managed to steal two tiebreakers to level up here. Level 
level. So the Kiwi kicks off this fifth and final game here at the Optasia Championships at the Wimbledon Club. Another battle going to five. Making sure the ball is dry, giving it a little clean. One love. Balance right. That recovery is just going to be getting harder and harder for Farag. What has he got left? Yes, let one all. Oh, he did well to get his leg away from being hit by that ball. Two or one all. Oh my word, he's absolutely unlaunched launched that one. Two, one. How are you feeling, Vanessa? <laughs> Happy to be here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. was a very heavy movement, understandably so, for Ali Farag. We haven't seen him move in that way the whole of the match, I would say. Just right at the back end of that third and fourth. But as I said, the recovery is getting harder. The system is completely depleted. Even though it will have felt very good having that drink after the fourth, it won't really have done a huge amount in terms of his energy levels. Three, two. Well, Cole, for the first time, starting to make it. A bit of an early bid. 4 2 lead. Yes, let 4 2.
up. That's Pulled a let off. off. Yeah, it was a let off. It was there for the taking. Four all. Building again in this fifth game. He's virtually lifting everything. Whenever he's in the back now, he's hitting a slower pace oh. ball. Farag trying to get a bit of time. Cole just going in short a little bit too early a couple of times again there. Just needs to make sure he's creating that distance on the court. off for Cole on that occasion. Hand out, 5-4. Thank you. Well, that's a beautiful shot. It's a poor service, though. Actually, it wasn't a poor service. Sorry, I apologise. I'm not the service police. It's just a great shot. Another great shot. I mean, it's just going again. I don't think I can handle this. I think my hernia is going to pop out. <laughs> Even more. Six, five. Loose cross court. He's going to take his chances, isn't he? Attention to detail paramount now for Colt. Again, loose cross court onto the backhand. Seven, five. Something weird going on. I mean, he's always had quite an odd left hand, Ali Farag. Could well be cramping, you know. And I mean, he's just, he can't write it. Yes, let's. Seven, it's a let five. ball. Yeah, it is. No, it's a let ball. Well, we haven't really talked about the cramp, but okay. I mean, of well, course he's going to cramp. He's going to cramp. I mean, his kidneys are going to be in a tangle. I mean, it's dangerous. It's dangerous to, you know, perform Play at this level in that five. condition. We know it's dangerous. You know, there's a huge amount that's going on with the physiology there. And so you see Paul Cole massively hydrated coming into the match, of course, and sweating a lot because of it. Goodness me, he's, he's just... How adaptable is Ali Farag? How adaptable is he? I mean, there's so many he, uh, nicknames never stuck with him, but he's got about 18 nicknames. <laughs> I mean, this is superhuman effort. He's going to take his time doing this. I mean. Another lead. He's hasn't been able to hold on to the last two. Left box. Well, Eight. he's not worried about Five. the hygiene factor there. I don't blame him. He's used the he's used the towel for Paul Cole's sweat, wiped his face with it, but he's probably wanted to get a bit of extra fluid, really. Oh my goodness me. Thank you. Oh my goodness me. Paul Cole's completely lost his length. Ali Farag has just gone into another realm. He's gone into another realm. Three or four winners back to back here now from Farag. Cole just hasn't been able to stick that ball onto the side wall. And Farag has absolutely lapped it up. 9 5. Let's go, Ali. Four points clear, 9 5 in this fifth and final game for Farag. Cole trying to ramp it up on the volleys. Oh, he's guessed it. Such he's guessed it. Movement again there from Farag. Well, it's going to be. It's, oh. 
You can't out. imagine. Six, nine. 85 minutes of play in this men's final. Thank you. Very honest of Ali Farag. He's just conceded the carry. And Paul Cole is back to marching Seven, around. Nine. Wanting to serve as quickly as possible. Oh, honestly. We talk about players going through levels of discomfort in squash matches. This is a whole other level. Oh, my word. Oh. Yeah. oh he's literally can't he, he can't, he can barely stand up here, Ali Farag. I mean, this is just torturous for him on all levels. He had a 9-5 lead. He can barely keep his coordination for obvious reasons. He's got cramp all over his body. He's cramping everywhere. Paul Cole digs it out. Oh! <laughs> you can't write it! <laughs> oh, goodness me, I mean, how many times did he win the rally? Paul Cole waiting, holding his movement to make the dive, having to stop due to the massive sweat mark from Cole. And it's just more time on court for Ali Farag. I mean, he's literally stumbling around out there. I think he's cramping everywhere. Again, though, there was a little bit of humour from Farag right at the end. Uh, I've just got no idea. I mean, it's... Just couldn't put it away there, could he? Oh. I mean, he, he is... He can barely walk. He can barely walk. He can barely stand up. Right box, eight, nine. Right box, please. Eight, nine. Oh, dear me. Oh, he's, oh, he's cramping. He's cramping. He's cramping. He's cramping. He's cramping. I mean, it, court service, please. He's cramping. Oh, my word. Court service, please. Yeah, you've got to get up and move. The last time I saw a player cramp right at the back end of a match was when James Wallstrop was playing. That was exactly what this reminded me Nick of. Nick Matthew with in the Canary leg. Wharf. With the straight leg. He couldn't continue, James Wallstrop. I mean, he was... Oh, my goodness me, honestly. I mean, what more <laughs> can you ask for? And what more is going to happen here? I mean, Paul Cole, for obvious reasons, has just basically got to keep the ball above the tin and away from a shot from Farrakh. Farrakh's just a, he's got to just go for it, isn't he? He's just got yeah. to go for it. I mean, he has done. He has done in this last phase. He was able to get a few winners in, but Cole tightened up. Nine all. Imagine if Roy Gingell foot faulted him. Cole serving to all nine all. Oh. Backhand volley draw. He presents himself with championship ball. Cole's first of this final.
battle. What an epic battle we've seen so many between these guys this season. And we've had another one this time in London. Certainly celebrate now. A reminder that we'll be setting up for the Ali Farag so so close but yet so far. Just to get the trophies out. Another we epic performance from him under very, very tough conditions. The men's and the women's champion very shortly on court. Just takes us a couple of minutes now to set up. We can barely stand up by the end. All credit to Paul Cole managing to make that backhand drop count. Kept his nerve. Could have been very tense for him as well. This men's Optasia Championship final result. Paul Cole coming back from two games to love to take out the number one seed and world champion and world number one, Ali Farag, three games to two.